In the scientists' search for intelligent alien life, alien explorers often seek other remote worlds and galaxies. But have you ever pondered on the idea that a civilization existed before the evolution of humans on Earth? The Silurian theory is the subject of our video, which explores what science has to say about it and its ramifications for humanity. Could we discover proof that ancient aliens created a short-lived industrial society much before our own? We often imagine vast expanses of space in distant worlds whenever we imagine alien civilizations. But there is another enormous dimension to which we may be paying too little attention. Could there have been civilizations on Earth for hundreds of millions of years? Are there any indigenous technological organisms that have risen and then gone out, and that they or their relics have been buried beneath our feet? What else does science have to say about this, and what does it mean for the rest of us? What would we look for, and what could we expect to find if we looked for them? Unfortunately, we only have one civilization to consider, our own. Over 300,000 years ago, Homo sapiens appeared and lived in tiny groups of hunter-gatherers, steadily expanding around the planet. Although there were small spurts of complexity, progress was sluggish. Our lifestyle did not alter significantly until around 10,000 years ago, when the agricultural revolution dramatically changed our way of life, allowing colossal population increase and technical advancements. We transformed the face of the world, cleared forests, and built cities and temples for our gods at incredible speeds and scales, rather than being merely animals with culture and tools that would have been undetectable from space. Until around 300 years ago, we were an industrial species, and our numbers and effect on the world rose enormously. Our 300,000-year history may be divided into three phases. For 97% of our history, humans were hunter-gatherers. Despite this, humans are a relatively new species on the planet. Even the most durable objects lose their durability over geological time frames. The Negev Desert has the oldest large-scale surface, just 1.8 million years old. Everything older has been smashed to dust or turned over, and it is now either buried or covered by ice or the sea. So what would be left of aliens before us who went through these three periods? What can we learn about native aliens by gazing in the mirror? We know that there were hunter-gatherer aliens a few million years ago. They left behind bits and pieces of bodies, weapons, and equipment, and even artwork. Given how long they survived and how little remains of them, plus the fact that they lived not far from where we are now, it is easy to believe there were others. Intelligent creatures with culture and art, such as humans, could speak and utilize tools and fire. Most hominins have lived as hunter-gatherers for the previous two million years. Thus, hundreds of distinct species and societies may have thrived without leaving any signs that these aliens had never progressed up the tech tree. But unfortunately, biological and subsequently geological processes destroyed their relics so they'd leave nothing behind in the worst-case scenario after thousands of years. What about fossils, though? When it comes to humans, agricultural cultures left many more artifacts to be discovered since they employed more advanced equipment made of more complex materials and had to feed millions of people. Thus, they left a lot more artifacts. Farming enabled them to specialize and build technology in various fields. Over thousands of years, cities and governments evolved into kingdoms and empires, some lasting millennia before falling. And given the higher population of people throughout our agricultural and empire periods, we may anticipate finding many more fossils and artifacts, perhaps for a few million years before they vanish. So we can state with certainty that no such indigenous extraterrestrial culture occurred in the previous few million years since we would have discovered anything they left behind. It still goes through a window of hundreds of millions of years back to the development of complex life where we can't know. If extraterrestrial pre-industrial nations and empires existed on the ancient Romans or Chinese scale, they would have vanished into oblivion. Even sophisticated metals would have rusted away if they had used them. 
Their tracks would be difficult to discern from natural ones if they created canals, destroyed forests, and established cities. Perhaps there was once a cephalopod kingdom with amazing cities fashioned of wood and stone among marshes and lakes. Their engineers flooded land to create wet towns while poets recited poetry in a color-coded language. Perhaps they were never industrialized because their culture was too stable, they were not imaginative enough, or they were never given the opportunity. A meteor, a pandemic, or an ice age might have obliterated their civilization crushing them to their temples while their fragile bodies rotted away. Regrettably, we lack even the most rudimentary evidence for such a civilization. Their achievements would have evaporated into nothing after a few million years. Indigenous Industrial Aliens What about modern industrial civilizations such as humanity? Imagine humanity's extinction due to a virus, cosmic rays, or anything similar. What would be left? Our effect on the world exceeds that of our forefathers by orders of magnitude. The fossil record will reveal a massive loss of wildlife and the proliferation of fossils from human-associated animals. Like our forefathers, buildings, skyscrapers, streets, and hard drives will tumble into oblivion in a few millennia. However, since there were so many humans on the planet, there would remain unmistakable traces of our existence for a few million years after we vanished. Our industrial lifestyle's byproducts may give us away for hundreds of millions of years. We utilize large amounts of synthetic fertilizer, redirecting the Earth's nitrogen flow into the soil. Metal and rare earth element mining cause long-term scars on the environment and deplete natural resources. Plastics flood our seas where they may end up on the ocean floor and remain for millions of years. There are radioactive materials and the disintegration of those elements and abnormal accumulations of components that do not exist outside of laboratories or weapons. Finally, humans have altered the proportion of CO2 in the atmosphere over our brief industrial history by burning vast amounts of fossil fuels, increasing ocean acidity, etc. Now, we may have already made an imprint on the geological record. So yet, no evidence of industrial extraterrestrial civilization has been discovered. There are no layers of strange compounds or elements that have been displaced. There is no radioactive layer to suggest that powerful nations formerly engaged in nuclear warfare. There is evidence of catastrophic extinctions and enormous alterations in the fossil record, but no proof that they did not happen naturally. And strangely, we've discovered an intriguing problem. If industrial societies stress the environment to extinction, they won't be there for very long. However, if they can be sustained, their impact on the geological record may be negligible. We might have little to no chance of ever learning about prior industrial civilizations if they were viable before being wiped out. These signals may grow very subtle over hundreds of millions of years and be disregarded or misinterpreted as natural. We should not rely on our imagination to convince ourselves that we are aware of our blind spots. So far, the expanse of time appears to be as empty of aliens as the vastness of space. Perhaps we have always been alone in this cosmos. We don't know if we'll find signs of others in the future. However, there is one key takeaway. Our civilization's survival is not assured, and if we are not vigilant, we may vanish forever. Let's hope there isn't another culture examining our stratum of the fossil record in a few million years. It's frustrating to be aware that there are so many aspects of our past that we cannot access. What do you all think about the lost alien civilization? Let us grasp your perspectives in the comment zone. Give us a thumbs up and tell your friends about it if they're interested in the same things you are. Finally, if you'd like to hear more on this regularly, please subscribe. We'll talk again soon.